As midwives, we are experts at transforming our clients' homes from this to this in minutes. A cluttered corner of the room magically becomes a newborn resuscitation station. I set up this equipment to provide safe care for this baby, but I'm also thinking about the health of the baby at the next birth I attend. I don't want to bring any bacteria or viruses from this house to another house. Of course, newborns don't arrive dried and swaddled. Anything I use for this little one is cleaned and disinfected before coming near another baby. But there's also a risk of accidental contamination of things I set up for the birth, but I don't need to use. How I set up my equipment can help reduce the risk of cross-contamination. At every birth, I need to set up and check everything. But fortunately, most babies never need to go near the resuscitation equipment. If all I need is the warming pad and the stethoscope, I move these away from the other equipment and closer to the family so they can watch the newborn exam. When I set up, I separate the unused equipment, which is clean, from the place where I put my used equipment, which is soiled, and in between is the area where I would place the baby for resuscitation. My aim is to create a one-way flow from clean equipment to the care area to soiled equipment in order to avoid cross-contamination. This is possible to do in a lot of different spaces, which is good because one big table near the birth is not always available. The setup is logical. If I need to bring a baby to the resuscitation area, I most likely need the bag and mask and the pulse oximeter. So these things are closer to the warming pad than the things I rarely need, like the intubation kit. I want to avoid reaching over my clean equipment to grab something I need. Imagine the cleaning job and the waste of disposable items if I reach over or touch this intubation kit with the soiled gloves when I didn't need to use it. Everything that is clean and unlikely to be used at the birth, I keep covered. At my practice, We've started using these clear plastic containers so your stuff is protected but you can still see inside. I open all of the containers with clean hands or gloves, check all my equipment, and then I close the lids back up. It only takes a second to flip them open if needed. I also have a bag with lots of pockets to carry my extra supplies. I try to keep it out of the birthing area to keep it clean. I don't put my emergency equipment in this type of bag because if I reach into one of the compartments with a soiled glove, which is quite likely in an emergency, the whole thing needs to be cleaned and a lot of supplies get thrown away. When I'm packing up after a birth, I just wipe down the outside of my plastic containers of unused equipment with the hydrogen peroxide wipes. I use these on the stethoscope, the warming pad, and the pulse oximeter too. Equipment that is cleaned and disinfected goes back into the containers and then back into the clean birth bag. My soiled bin is separate and never goes near my clean bag. I leave the disposable pads and clean gloves that have been sitting out during the birth at the client's home. I don't want to put these back in my clean bag, but I can use them during postpartum visits for this client and baby. To avoid soiling my bag, I stash it safely away from the household traffic. I try not to bring that bag into the birth room, and the plastic is so light that it's easy to carry the bins to and from the bag. That's my system. I'm ready for the next birth with hopefully a little rest in between. Mm -hmm.